So hi, I'm KB with Nerdabouse. How are you both? Hi, KB. How are you? I'm doing, doing well. Listen, I've seen the first five episodes and boy, are we on a ride. I'm really, really loving it so far. Um, Thank you. so my first question is for you, Chris. So, you know, whose character arc did you find the most challenging to kind of craft over, you know, the um, course of this season? And also, which character did you find yourself uh, kind of rooting for the most that really, really surprised you? Wow, that's a very good question. I mean, first of all, these scripts, and hope you know, hopefully you'll get a chance to see the next three soon enough. Um, it, these scripts were so hard to create um, a balance between what's going on in the club, the 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 drug war going on outside of the club, the stuff with Burton that has a comedic edge to it. It was very, very difficult. And as Guillermo will tell you, we rewrote the scripts, you know, hundreds of times, me and Michael Payne, who was a primary writer on this, as well as our Alfredo Barrios. And so we, we, we uh, you know, for me, the journey of, of Roman is, is super interesting. His son, Maurice, was the one who told me that his father ran this club. There, there are highly fictionalized elements in the show as well. But I think every one of the characters is on this journey here, journey of discovery. You know, Roman discovering that, you know, despite his decision to estrange himself from his brother because of his brother's drug dealing, um, Roman may turn out to have instincts that make him just as good or better a drug dealer than his brother. His brother, we think his brother's in it for the money and, and the loot and the cars and all that, but we may discover other motives later. Roman's daughter, you know, is coming of age and starting to have, uh, you know, awakenings of her own. So all of the characters in the show move through the course of the eight episodes, making discoveries about themselves. And so for as a as a writer, that's fun to explore. But I can't tell you this. It was just hard as heck to write this thing. And, and I'm lucky I had a partner here who could translate you know, what he says is the overly dialogued scenes into, uh, you know, in, into a film language that makes it very exciting to watch. Well, let me say Roman's journey is one that surprised me the most. And I'm glad that you said that because his prowess for the drug game is not something that I was expecting, but he is a businessman, right? And he has a business mind, a very, very sharp business mind. And so the way he perceives things is so, so interesting to me. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, also, in the very first episode, we drop this thing in. The character Chucho says, ah, basically, he's a, he's, he's a sissy. And, and you know, and Nestor, his brother, says, no, no, no. He, this guy took out a whole battalion on Playa Giron. So, so you have a little hint of, of the military aspect of Roman that, that will reveal itself further down the line. I like that. And the secrets that he's holding close to his chest, because, you know, Roman is a vault, I think. <laughs> yes. Yes, And for you, very Guillermo, much. can you talk a little bit about just the challenges with directing the pilot specifically and really being able to kind of set the entire tone for the series and what we see uh, thus far? Yeah, that was a great privilege. The the opportunity to not only is to create this world where even we we documented very well the world, I lived through it, but it is an exacerbated version of what those 70s were. It is like well, who who wouldn't want to you know drop there and 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 take it all all in and so it was a very fun experience of gathering all these elements to create the space for this drama to take place and make it uh, super attractive, fun with music, uh, sexuality, and and all these crazy relationships that are doing. And and also the way to narrate the story, you know, it it is a it's it's a pilot that doesn't stop, that keeps you hooked to the very end, uh, and 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 it ends in a way that it hooks you for the what what happens after. So it is a very interesting uh, way to have com permanent conflict with your characters and see how how they get out of it, how all the struggle, all the all, that that is not only personal, it's also you know, in a larger scale, uh, social and political. So it has all these ingredients, though. No? It does. And Thank honestly, you. a lot more comedy than I expected because I've seen Mark in a lot of roles, but in this role as Burton, he brings a lot of comedic elements also to the forefront that are really good. 
Right. And that was a little frightening at moments to the network because they were wondering about the balance. They, and they, they, they certainly supported it, but they were like, hey, hey, you know, be careful here. And I think we struck the right balance. I mean, he's hysterical. And I also think a show that deals with these heavy, you know, violent uh, uh, businesses also needs to be leavened with some humor. And also Guillermo's, you know, not doing himself enough justice. I, he was the guy I, I thought should direct this pilot from the very beginning, because a pilot is the world building. You know, it, it, it sets the stage for every director who follows the tone, the, the visual style, et cetera, et cetera. And so, you know, I, I just I had it in my gut that he was going to be the person who would who would do this best. He did. And, and also what he did was trade upon all the years of experience he's had making films all over the world. Uh, both with Guillermo del Toro and and on his own, and and so we had a crew that was just the best of the best from all over the world, in particular Latin America, which is where we were shooting. So so I you know we can't give the crew short shrift. They were they were a plus in every department. Those costumes, the production design, we built that club that doesn't exist there. So so all of that stuff was was uh, in my mind to his to his credit. So hi, I'm KB with Nerdifiles. How are each of you? Great, how are you? How are you? Oh, doing well, doing well. Listen, I've seen the first five, five out of eight. And let me tell you, you guys are taking me on a journey. I'm absolutely loving it. And like, as soon as this is over, I'm like, when can I build in time in my schedule to finish? Because it's so, <laughs> yeah. so good. I'm like addicted. Thank <laughs> so, you. Thank you. Um, so here we go. Like Roman keeps secrets from every single one of your characters. Um, And, you know, even though he's keeping these kind of deep secrets in the name of protection, I'll put that in quotes. Um, he also knows just how integral like Valeria, Janice, and Marisol really, really are in his life. So can you talk a little bit about kind of what your characters learn from Roman and what do you think they teach Roman throughout the course of this season and as he kind of ventures deeper and deeper uh, into the family business? And I'll start with you, Karina. You yeah. know, what do you think his daughter Valeria kind of teaches him, um, you know, on this journey? And I think, honestly, I, I think she really puts him in his place. <laughs> she really, I feel like she really does. I think that uh, she knows him super well and, and she knows when something's wrong and she, she's like, like, you're, I know you're hiding something. Like, I know something's going on. Um, and I think that she really learns um, from him how how to care. I think he's really, really loving. I mean, he's doing all this for his family. Uh, and I think she definitely, she she got that from him. I mean, she's his daughter, so she learns everything from him. But um, But yeah. I like that you said loving because there is a lot of sides to Roman. And I like that, you know, Valeria would be able to pick up on that from him because, you know, even throughout the choices that are being made by each of your characters right. at the heart of it, you know, all of you are still loving. So I appreciate yeah. it. And, that and that's mean. what, that's what Valeria sees mostly hmm. at first. <laughs> <laughs> so her, uh, the layers are pulled, you know, back from her eyes, I yeah. think a little bit really, more. He wouldn't get into all of this trouble if he didn't love you so much exactly right yeah. so that is really the yeah. love for his daughter is at the core of the whole goddamn mess <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes and on honestly being a parent and you know just being like by any means necessary i'm going to protect you know my child so here we you're go. welcome guys <laughs> <laughs> it's all for you <laughs> and yeah. uh next i'll go to you laura you know what do you think that um you know janice teaches roman on this journey that he goes on and what do you think that she learns from roman what do I think that she learns from Roman? Mm -hmm. um, Janice and Roman at the start of the series, they have a, a smooth running, really close, very successful working relationship. They've worked together for quite a while. Um, he's 
in many ways saved her life in the past before the series begins. So she trusts him and feels that she owes her life to him. So there's not a lot that she won't do for him. And she's really stressed out and worried for him when he gets um, deeply embroiled in his brother's cartel again. And I think what she learns from him, she, her love for him and her desire to keep him safe forces her or confronts her to learn how many moral uh, points she will cross to keep that safe. And what do I teach Roman? I think that I become more and more uh, his conscience as the show goes on. And so he's like a steam train going in one direction towards danger. <laughs> and I think that Janice is teaching him constantly that he needs to take a step back and reassess the people that he's um, building relationships with. And whether or not she succeeds in that, I don't know, but I think that she gives him pause. Mm. A steam train is the perfect analogy. That is perfect for so Roman. <laughs> <laughs> um, and last but certainly not least for you, no. Tanya, Marisol, what do you think that Marisol teaches Roman on this journey? Because he's digging himself deeper and deeper and oh. deeper, and she's trying to be the little angel on his shoulder. Um, but also, what do you think that she learns from Roman, you know, as they keep going? Yeah, I think... Um... I think when the show starts at the beginning of their relationship, they have a lot of things in common. And one of the things in common they have is that they're both good people with good intentions and they want to do good. I think as the show goes on, you start seeing him derailing from that. So I think she learns from him that she shouldn't trust him fully. And she also learns that maybe she should take she should take a step forward in taking more care of valeria and i think what he learns is that marisol is not just going to agree with everything he says so i think at some point he takes steps back from her cuz that otherwise it's going to be a conflict for him having to face that having to face her and you know cuz they're not going to agree so this they learn that they need to put some distance you would say in mm -hmm. that sense yeah they start no, that makes sense a bit conflicted yeah because in a lot of ways it feels like Marisol is only thinking of Valeria you know she the from her point of view she's like are you even considering your child because look at all the things that you're doing yeah. so yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, listen, I am absolutely loving the show. Like I said, I need to finish ASAP. I am so excited for everyone to see this. And just thank you to the three of you for taking time to chat with Nerdophiles. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so thank much. You so we much. really appreciate so it.